good people, welcome back to another Foosh review. Today, let's take a look at the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom Primal series Atreyu and the Horrid Ravager. And I've been looking forward to these. Looking at the package, very basic, but not in a bad way. All the focus is on the toys themselves. You got your branding, your logos, your names, your warnings, choking hazard small parts. Don't put them in your mouth. On the side, some character art for each, and then a bigger version on the back with some bios. Other characters in the wave. Warnings again, collect them all. On the other side, some design work on top, logos on bottom, legalese barcodes. Let's get these open. And we're gonna start with the Ravager. Now that I think about it, I've never had a mandrel action figure, and now I do. While we're at the head, look at the color pop right there with the red and the blue. Stands out nicely against the grays of the skin and the fur. And then you have those eyes peering out at you. Ooh, it's just a good look. And then that armor complements the base body with the blues and the darker blues and the shiny blues and even a little touch of green. Have some gold on the diamond knee pads attached to that blue shin armor. It, it just everything from head to toe works. And not just color wise, the fur of the body kicking into the intricate detail of the chest armor. You can see all these little lines and then the paint in between, just nice and crisp. And it's on the back too. There's almost an organic feel to this belt. The metallic color catches your eye and then it just kind of flows into a that same metallic light blue to the elbow pads going around the top of the gauntlet here travels down in front of the crotch cover and then you have these side armor pads. And the nifty thing here is that the gauntlets are a separate rubber piece. So if you want to, you can remove things for a different look if you have several of these. This being a rubbery overlay, it doesn't get in the way. There's flexiness to it. I was gonna demonstrate that by hinging the hand this way, but it's a weapon holding hand. So it has up and down hinge. Same thing down here at the legs. I'm assuming, can you pop? Probably need to heat the feet to actually get it off, but then separate piece. You can have bare legs if you want, or naked mandrel legs, not bare. <laughs> bare. That softness is shared here, so that gets out of the way of the legs, if you want to go this way or this way or this way. And then let's jump into a Atreyu. And really, everything I said about the Ravager can be applied to a Treyu. And they even share some parts, the legs, the leg armor. Different feet, though, appropriately. And I forgot to point that out on the mandrel. That's pretty cool. With a Treyu, there's the obvious feline features, but on top of that, there's a regalness. And that's not just because I read the bio, it's because of the gold color. I just always associate that with royalty. The dark browns and the golds just play off each other beautifully. And I like, now don't get me wrong, I like the extra touches of color on the Ravager. Ravager, but it just being the golds and the browns here is simplifies things but it also accents the body itself because the base body is a lighter brown it ties into this and that merges into that it just looks great all together i'm just now noticing the gauntlets are also shared between the two figures and i'm guessing the lower arm because the upper arm it actually has the armor sculpted to it. Same thing with the shoulders coming down with some studs on it. Not as much paint on the back this time around. Well, down here there is, but not up here. These straps come around, but that's about it. Not as many hard edges. It's There's a softness to it, but still intricate. Well, you get down here, there's some straight lines, some angles, but all together. Yeah, it just looks good. And like I said, very cat-like. Have the hair all streaming back, some of it in a ponytail. And the eyes are the same color, but again, cat-like as they should be. It's awesome that side by side you can tell they're in the same universe, the same toy line, but even though they have some reused parts, they feel like different characters. I'm only going to go over articulation on one because it's essentially the same on both. Even though they look different, the ranges and everything are pretty much the same. Although I will say because of the shape of this one's head, see how much there is back here? At first I thought that's kind of weird. But with a ball, a hinge, and then some movement at the bottom of the neck, what I find myself doing here is kicking the angle forward and it gives them kind of a hunch. More that mean look. Can look up and then down. Some nice tilt, side to side. Butterfly shoulder comes forward, goes back. Pin out to the shoulder, rotates all the way around. Hinges up to there. Swivel at the bicep. Double elbow, and in the package, Atreyu's armor was up here, and I thought, oh, that's gonna get in the way, but because it's a separate piece, which I love, you can 
push it down and get out of the way. It comes up to about right there. Swivel at the wrist, and then because this is a weapon holding hand, there's a hinge up and down. Hinge mid torso cranks all the way to there, arcs back. Then there's also ball at the waist to give you a little more in each direction, plus some tilt and rotation. Ball coming out to the hip allows for this and this and out. Swivel at the thigh hidden under there. Double knee, about right there. Hinge at the ankle goes back, forward, front facing pin for rocker. Weapon holding hand means for accessories, there's a sword. Then there's a big chunky sword with a spiky guard. There is some flexiness to the hand, so you can shove in there, get them all armed up. The weapon hands also have a trigger finger hand, and because of the flexiness, it doesn't need to be sculpted like this. It looks like a grip, but it doubles as a trigger finger. And that means gun and very nice silver, the matching blue. In fact, I forgot to point that out with the sword and the other sword. It's all color coordinated. Like I showed a minute ago, the hands do pop out pretty easy. And with that, you get two relaxed hands and two fists. But I think my favorite is the helmet. You have your golds, your blues, your cutout for the face, the ears. And this just adds to the troop builder aspect. If you get three or four of these, you can have a couple with helmets, a couple without. You can take the armor pieces off some they all look different when you line them up. And then for Atreyu, here's your big honking sword. A nice little color pop to the gym right there. Some brown on the grip, some age, like it's been through some battles. And it looks fantastic in a two-handed grip. Also comes with a matching dagger. And to give you an idea, here's the sword and here's the dagger. An elaborate shield with some faces and some felineness and the browns and the golds to tie in with the rest of the body. And here there's a couple of options. You have this grip that you can either plug here or here to make him left or right handed then he just holds it or there's this piece and mm, i'm guessing this goes here and then there is this hole in the back that you can plug in here it does go off to the left a little bit but it's nice storage or you can angle it down like that i guess or you can fly because he's a kite <sighs> the hands are interchangeable here too. You have the two grips, you have the two relaxed, and they are different. You have claws on these hands. And it's the same with the fist. You can see thumbnails there. Size-wise, Atreyu is taller, and that is all in the torso. Like we talked about, they share legs. The waist comes up to the same place. And I know I have this head jutted down a bit, but you can see at the elbows and shoulders. This one's higher up. Atreyu's also wider up here. Bigger shoulders, bigger torso. Gives him a more muscular look compared to the Ravager, who's more thin, lithe, ganglier. He stands at about six and three quarter, while Atreyu is, oh, almost seven to the top of the hair, which does make them taller than your standard Marvel Legends like the Vulcan body or Hasbro Star Wars Black Series new version of the Stormtrooper. But that's not gonna stop me from using a couple of these as the High Evolutionary's creations. So at the end of the day, mm-hmm, pretty damn sweet. I mean, I love my good looking humanoid animals, but them being able to move as they should, that's just icing on the cake. Especially the Ravager. It's a mandrel. It should be able to get into crouchy type poses. And Atreyu can also do that, but because of his bulk, I don't want to get him as crouchy. I, I feel like he should be standing taller, not just because he's royalty, but because that's his fighting style, I guess. That's how I picture it. And don't worry if you missed out on the Kickstarter. These are up for pre-order right now. Link is in the description. Bottom line, happy to have some more good toys. And some more options when it comes to different animals and everything. Because I'm going to need more of each faction. <laughs> more of each type. Huh, I'm going to put some with the High Evolutionary. Isn't there a character in Marvel called the Mandrel? Can parts and pieces of this be used for that? Oh, always with the customizing. Can I have this collection, but I'm gonna need extras to make characters for other lines. And then this and this, it never ends, it never stops, but it's fun. 